Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sicario Media. So today is a big day. Today, the ratchet hoe is getting tuned. Um, as you can see, where this guy's at already. Uh, we're just kind of double checking some things. We had like a little, barely a, a little leak coming out of one of these um, lines that runs to the oil cooler, or the trans cooler. So we're just tightening that down as much as we can so it doesn't leak out. We also stopped by and got some extra fluids from the Advanced here at uh, Fort Lauderdale. So we got extra oil, clamps, paper towel. Once we finish up here, we're gonna go ahead and head on over. We're about maybe 10 minutes away from the shop, so not far away. We made pretty good timing. We left super early. Um, we have plenty of time to get there, so we'll head out there now and we'll check back in, check back with you guys once we get close. All right, so we just got here to STP Motorsports and. Um, before we go ahead and unload anything, I mean, Foya, do you have any concerns with today's dyno day? Anything? Power goals? With our luck, if it holds, I'm happy. <laughs> Pretty much. So, well, what are we shooting for? Maybe 400, 450, uh, four, 5? Anything over 4, I'll be happy. But we'll see. We'll see what the tuner can pull. We're about to push this eBay turbo to, like... Chinese choo-choo. We're pushing Let's it to see. its limit, so... Hopefully it holds together. It's been a long time coming for this car, like we were talking early, uh, before in the other video. Um, it'd be nice to have him have a car out. They can you go ahead and enjoy. It's gonna be his daily driver, but we'll see. Uh, see how that goes. How that we'll, goes. We'll find yeah. out in a couple hours. So just keep watching, and uh, we'll keep fill, fill, filling you in as everything goes on. And um, for real. Yeah. So right now we're gonna go ahead and unload. As you can tell. We say our luck. It's already, it's already kind of raining already. So that just kind of tells you how this day's going. It's kind of about to go. So shut up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's unload the car. We're here just in time. So yeah. see me driving the car around the neighborhood the car's not tuned so what ended up happening was we sat there for a bit the tuner was going ahead and um trying to load a base mount actually actually just trying to get the car to start up um we after some troubleshooting i'll just pass it over pretty much Pretty much, the shop I took it to is pretty much gave me a hack job. Like my tuner stated, I got fucked in the ass hard. Paid pretty good money, and when I sent the message to the shop manager, I told him, "Hey man, um, my car's only running on two cylinders. Fuel, two fuel injectors are only firing, and you know." My gauges ain't wired properly because you know they're not even loaded into the ECU. Um, pretty much gave me a runaround excuse saying that I wasn't willing to pay, but yet I never gave him. You know, I pretty much he called me and said it's going to be this much, and I brought him the cash. And I told him if that was the point, I still paid for the fuel system, I still paid for the gauges, and I still got fucked. And I mean, I brought the car back twice. I got it from them the first time. They didn't even put interior panels back on. The car was, the battery was dead. There was something draining it and they pretty much just handed it over to me like that. I put the interior panels back on. Yeah, the well, yeah. no, they didn't have it on. That's what yeah, I'm no, I'm saying, I ended up having it. Yeah, I had a, I'm a buddy here, had to put them back on. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit. 
So then we brought it back and they you know, supposedly you fixed the things. And one of the things was a leaking trans cooler line, which found out it was still leaking. And then they told me the car was idling and uh, you know, to check for leaks and it wasn't leaking. And well, the, when I got it back, I couldn't even turn it on. I couldn't even get it on the idle. So I don't know what happened, but they're just trying to get me running out an excuse. So to save the day, Harry at HD Tuned is keeping the car. And I mean, I'm gonna have to pay another shop bill, but he's gonna go through it and get it done the right way. I mean, now professionals, I wouldn't touch it, is pretty much what he said. So we're gonna go from there and wait for his call and go back and get Dino. All right, so now that you got pretty much the breakdown on what happened from the old Pollo Loco over here, um, that's basically it. The car's staying down in Miami. We're waiting on a phone call. Hopefully the, the wiring harness is not all hacked up like it was when we uh, picked up the car from actually getting fixed from the shop that he explained supposedly fixed it. So that kind of sums up that. It was a uh, dyno day, it was an epic fail. Hopefully when we go back down there, it's we don't even gotta bring a trailer. We just gotta drive it back. So that wraps that up. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for uh, the more real, updates and the real tune, the real tune, and the real Dino Day. So hopefully that doesn't uh, take too long to happen. I have faith in uh, Harry here, so hopefully he gets us taken care of, and um, we get the ratchet hole back to do uh, the right way. Ratchet tree. Apparently everybody wants a drift car, so I don't know. <laughs> I know a couple people are like, "Is this a drift car?" It's a pretty crazy looking drift car. It's a daily. It's yeah. my daily. They're like, oh. <laughs> get over fenders <laughs> <laughs> so you should get some quarter panels bro but, uh, pretty much so that wraps up this video it's been a short video but i definitely promised i was going to drop two this week so here's the second one and instead of not dropping anything i ended up dropping something so like i said like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace